Hello all, welcome to my uh, short demo of getting started with our PCDJ Karaoke application. That's Karaoke with an I, stands for Karaoke Integrated, although the program can be used by itself or as a plug-in for a Red Mobile, a Red Mobile and uh, Dex PCDJ DJ applications. First thing you want to do is add a case. A case is essentially a group. Click the Add Case button. Once you've created a case, the next thing you're going to want to do is add songs from your existing library on your hard drive. You do that by clicking your Add Songs button. Click Scan Folder, which will be the first option from the pop-up drop-down menu. Navigate to a folder on your drive that you know you have karaoke in it. In my case, I have a folder labeled karaoke. Highlight that folder. Hit OK. At this point, it, you're presented with a window. Uh, gives you various different options of what to scare f scan for and so forth. Right now we're looking for mp3 plus g files and zip files uh, that contain mp3 plus g's. So now click scan. So we'll now scan the folder and find all the karaoke files within it. Now once the scan is finished you're going to be presented with this window right here that says scan new songs using naming convention or id3 tag extraction. Now most people uh, use any number of, uh, it's usually 10 to 15 different naming conventions that are kind of standards out there in the industry. Uh, in our case, our files, uh, when you look at the file name, we have an artist hyphen title. And that's all that our files contain. So we'll click yes, because as you see behind here right now, there all the, uh, the information for the songs is showing up in one field in the title field. So we're going to select artist hyphen title and hit go. You'll see this will rescan the folder in and all the files will then just hit OK after that. All the files will now be labeled correctly in the correct fields. Artists uh, is in the artist field, title in the title field. Um, now just to show you quickly you can search all your files. Now if you had multiple cases for multiple songs if you do one search it will search across all your different cases. So let's do a quick search for uh, ABBA. Hit enter. Your search results will show up in this far bottom right hand panel. Uh, from there you can load directly to the player by just dragging and dropping up in the player or on your into your on deck singer list. I'll show you that real quick. So this area here to the right, um, top right, is your on deck singer list. This is really what you're going to be working through uh, or from throughout your event. Um, type in a name. So as soon as you drag a song into that area, you're going to be presented with that box uh, to type in somebody's name or select a name uh, from the singer history list that you're presented with. So I'll show you that real quick. Drag a song over. I'll select Brandon. Hit OK. And now you'll see Brandon will populate here with the song he's about to sing. Do one more. Select Lewis. Hit OK. So here's your singer rotation list. From this list, uh, of course, you can drag and drop and reorder the songs however you see fit. Uh, if somebody decides, hey, I'm a little nervous, don't want to sing right now, you can bump somebody up in front of them. Um, from here, you can easily load the next singer and have it play. By default, uh, we've set it up so that as soon as you load the singer, load your next singer, it'll start playing. So we'll click Load Next Singer. Fast forward a little bit so you can see the words. Now, of course, every CDG, depending on the provider, can be a little different in this regard, uh, how they display. Now, you can uh, key up or down the song on the fly. Uh, they're they're half, st half steps and semitones. So you hit plus, one key step. Hit plus again. You can actually hear a key up. Now, this is adjusting key without affecting the actual tempo of the song. It's because we've enabled our key lock right here. Put it back down to normal. Uh, you can also do something that's pretty cool. It's not present in most uh, karaoke applications out there. And that is adjust 
uh, your tempo without key. So I can slow down the song. Actually have to have that on to do that. So I'm slowing it down, but it's not actually affecting the key of the track. The same could be said for speeding it up. Now if key lock is off, you'll definitely hear it both slow down the song and affect the key. So it'll do both. Typically you're going to leave key lock on so that when you adjust key in semitone steps, it's only affecting the key and not the tempo of the song. Some other pretty cool things is on your, you know, through your on deck singer list here, you can predetermine the key of the next song if you want to. So if uh, you know Mike approaches and he says, "Hey, look, uh, you know, can you key up my song just uh, one step? I I can't really uh, hit those low notes, so to speak." You can hit the key plus, and every time you hit this, it'll adjust it one step, one semitone step. So I've just keyed it up three times. Now, if I hit load next singer. you'll see that the key is automatically adjusted for uh, for Mike. Now, in order to get your, your singer or your screen two to the other, uh, you know, your opposite uh, TV or your secondary monitor or whatever your audience is going to be singing from, uh, you want to set up Windows for Extended Desktop, which is a simple setting on all Windows computers. Uh, you just enable Extended Desktop. Uh, what that initially will give you is uh, your your desktop wallpaper on your secondary source. Um, and when you enable the Screen 2 button right here, when you click that, it will fill that next screen with just the words. So, of course, you're able to work within the karaoke software on your screen. Nobody will see that, and your audience will only be able to view the words. So, very simple. That's it for today. Uh, we're going to follow up with a few more advanced videos, but that's uh, a really good way to get started with PCDJ Karaoke. Thanks.